What's up guys, this is The Regiment and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to kind of round off what happened last time, um, more or less we were pretty much just expanding our foothold into uh, into Western Europe. So we've got some stacks down here pushing east to go to try and combat the Savoy in Northern Italy. We've got the stacks all up here looking to push eastwards into Prussian Germany. I have troops being rebuilt in... Um, in the British Isles, ready to land probably on the Baltic coast somewhere. Um, might be a bit dicey. And I've also got <clears throat> wow, this stack running back to recapture Algiers. And then some forces are going to keep pushing east and start taking out the Middle East. Um, actually, let's take you. Go out to destroy that stack in Egypt. Ooh, that's made Egypt really unhappy, actually. Next turn, straight back. Or do I just recruit some minus one? Huh. Dana. Oh, Dana's um yeah, the one I'm being I'm destroying. Okie dokie. That thing's being built. Obviously, these North African territories aren't massively wealthy. Um, but they're good to have as a jumping off point, because I'll recruit a Going to recruit an African army to go here, and I want to try push um, Naples because if I if I drive through Northern Europe and uh, Northern Italy, sorry, I'd want to drive in from the south as well because you've got the Alps in the way that stops the free flow of troops. Like if I want to support anyone, if anyone here wants to swing down, they have to come around past Bavaria and down here towards Venice, um, or cut through this pass here, which is like a really long snaky path via France or here. Um, so I'd like to be more exposed onto attacking them from this front if possible. In the Americas, what's going on? Oh. Just cracking on. Just make sure I don't... Ah. Yep, see, I'm losing easy money. Just might do a quick round of building. I'm just looking down on the centre bottom of my screen just to see if anything needs upgrading. And I think I seem to have done quite an okay job of it. Like, nothing saying it needs... Aha! Chapter school in Spain. Important. If I want to graduate, if I want to turn them away from Catholicism. Or at least a, enough of a way to reduce their religious anger. Because I know they'll be unhappy with me. Facial is everything. Yep, cool. Alright, so I think, I think. Ah, see, so I've got this stack up here. Ready to make an assault wherever. Um, they're going to they're gonna kind of sit in reserve, just ready. Um, so they're recruiting. The you know, only thing I'm going to do is just pick three generals' bodyguards so I can recruit them. I can just dot them around Europe and recruit them, like, individually in stacks. Um, I can find that I find that more easy at times than actually micromanaging building armies and cities like this. Send out Howard Weatherall. Build. Okay, so if we say we're in France and we are now recruiting armies from the French, I'm assuming to be theme they then have retired crassiers who have joined the French side because we are still allies. Some horse guard heavy artillery with some backup howitzers. Backup howitzers, and then get a couple of units of. Oh no, I can only get one. Well, okay, let's say this army is going to be a assaulting army, actually. If it's going to be an army that has to bust through um, European... Well, bust through Europe, there are, all of these cities are fortified, except for some reason Hanover. Um, then I'm going to want quite a heavy troop, uh, more melee-focused troop. So I'll recruit my four units of line to start with, because these are going to be the guys that, you know, as standard, hold the breach and go in via the breach. The rest will start to be get some engineers in there, get some blunderbuss shotgunners in there. Yes, I'm not impacting the Catholicism because they've probably got 
Um, yeah, and he, oh, a, a seminary for starters. And two French missionaries and this guy. He looks pretty good. He's an ally, so I can't kill them either. Unless I took here, yeah, Corsica, which I'm not that bothered about in principle. I like the idea of having an ally in this game. Normally they betray and stab you in the back. Um, so it's nice that French hasn't done the France hasn't done that yet. Right, it's the end turn. Be the plan to open up some new fronts against Prussia and then start playing pressure pressure in Western Prussia. Because right now well now I could have a massive slog fest of a battle and absolutely destroy them. Because this is this can be how Empire is hamstrung in its ability to bring more larger forces on the field. And the and having the AI be able to actually manage it. So I think in Rome Total War, if they had a reinforcing army, they'd all enter the field at the same time, I think. Um, whereas in this, as one unit retreats, another takes its place. So if they're reinforcing from the other side of the map, you'll then only have individual units coming at you at, at any one time. Um, unless you make them route near the border and lots of them route. See, but if the AI were a bit smarter, it'd actually just hold on to... Um, it'd hold on to, like, troops. Well, like, like what I would do. If I've got an army that's being destroyed, I'd either let them be destroyed so I can bring in a fresh army, or I'd recruit, or I'd let my weakest units hold the line and hold them up and retreat my strongest units back. Ooh. Opportunity to intercept. Don't mind if I do. Because I've got this whole... Okay, let's practice what I preach. So if I were the computer and wanted to bring in some... wanted to bring in reinforcements... Um, I would like have all these four men and form a, form like a new defense, a new position, then advance together, rather than you know going here's a line of infantry, sprint them to the center of the map and fight. Um, but let's do it. Let's knock out Ar Arthur Weber. With Death's Head is ours. It'd be nice to get rid of them. Got some howitzers and some bits of artillery. Oh god, I've actually got like a four-inch mortar. Huh. And yeah, weak like light, light units, no Jaegers. Cool. Opportunities like this to just chew up a an army and just well, I should take advantage of it. You can't just let them run around. They give me an opportunity to chop them into pieces. Science is organ. God, I could do with an old glazed loaf right now. Getting there. Oh, they've been ambushed on the march. Fascinating. Oh no, wait. Have I been ambushed? But. Wait. Oh no. It's a deployed pitched battle. Except the deployment zone's weird. I suppose. I don't know. Maybe they're going to be. Maybe they're going to be in column? And not ready to fight? I don't know. Either way, if that's going to be the case, I'm going to want my artillery over here. To get some good shots on the territory. On their forces. Deploy my mortar somewhere a bit more central. It's you. Oh, wait. So if I pick these and unlimber... I want to see an, a, a, a comparison of how much these um, waters actually compare. Well, it's not mas not a massive difference, but it's still a difference. It does mean you need to deploy them up if we want to get them actually firing into the Prussian deployment area. Um, because my artillery has super long range and can hit them. That, um, if, if, it, if it is an ambush, then I do need to just run up and get in their face. So I deploy my light infantry here to deploy stakes. I'm going to keep my general... I don't know. I'll try good old pincer movement. So if I pick four units of line to go up around this mound, then... 
the remainder to advance up this flank and keep a unit with this knackered unit of grenadiers back here in, re in support. Hmm. In which case, then, what I'm probably going to do is firstly reform my line quickly because there are missiles coming. Okay, so if I were to pick these howitzers and put them on quick line, yes, quick line does the trick. God, don't be your own quick line. Good. Bog standard round shot. There we go. That quick climb's done the damage and they can't afford to can't afford to wait. Come on. Fire. Square, too late. You form square, and you form square, so you can provide flanking fire. You square, you square. There we go. Lots of good flanking fire. Broken. Oh god, they are charging into. Okay, my line infantry couldn't be long, not long for this world. They're relying on that. God, he got some good shots on that cavalry without any chance of hitting your own men. position because they are finding its Prussian line which is the best in the game come on let's get you firing into the flanks of this cavalry attack I just don't fire at will let's wait reload General's bodyguard's gone back in from the flank, but I wager they will not last long. I've really not been utilising this my infantry as well as I should have been first part of the day <laughs> Oh. 
puckle guns. A bit different. Going into the maelstrom. God, these things aren't shooting. That's right, my American line getting into the fight. Target the general's bodyguard, see if you can knock out their general. Yeah, once you once you start to really there you go. Get their general down. Oh, he's charging in. Hope fire at will. Yeah, let's end that battle. Whew, that was a really sloppy one. I'm definitely going to hate last night's scene, Book of Mormon, which was super good. <laughs> definitely going to download the uh, soundtrack and listen to it. Cool, that's not one pressure stack back. Not for free, but. You know, I'll take, ooh, they, ooh, they've, they've left Amsterdam ungarrisoned. Yeah, raid Calais as much as you like. Oh God, opportunity to intercept? I don't think so. Ah, oh, raiding Prussian troops. Oh, are they going to? Nope, guess not. The Ottomans are going to Ottoman and just carry on being frustrating. Poland, Lithuania, Russia. I hope the Russian diplomat's not trying to get hold of tech because I've just demolished the. Oh no, that'll probably be it. I've demolished the only school in the area. That's why he's running away. There is unused land okay. suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity. Let's in fall this army back to the church school. Land. Ultimately, I'm a bit concerned about this front. So, report, retreat them back to the bridge. Retreat my very, very, very veteran navy to container. Where they can refit. Refit, I said. <laughs> this arm, it's fairly knackered, can go down and attack them. Should be quite quick. Yeah, quick and didn't lose many men. Good, replenish, get back into a useful position. Another church school. Let's replenish you guys. You guys need replenishment big time. Where are they going? Uh, leave them there for now. Let that all figure out. Cool, build that. Happiness building. Get this stack in to Algiers. Probably not going to fight it. They replenished. Did they knock down any of my buildings? They didn't, but they cancelled a lot of stuff. But yeah, let's keep it building. And roads. Oh, yep, yeah, they're still good. Good. Um, religious unrest is about to go down. I need to knock out these bloody Spanish priests. Marathas are still sat there in 
Sandy Bay. Let them. Um, if they want to be funny, they can try and move. Okay, they're moving up. That's a big old army right there. You know what it needs? Some artillery. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, so they're replenishing, they're replenishing, they're replenishing. Right, go down here. Oh, Kairu's happier. Even they're happy. I want to have destroyed all their stuff. Oh, and destroyed the university. That's what it is. So if I pick them all except for the artillery, they can catch up. Good. Get them back. Get them back before they get ambushed by the single unit of infantry. Run them out with some scouts. Knock them out. Planish and get them back. Right, let's do some building. Cannon Foundry, Magistrate, Conservatorium, Army Staff College. These things are all still in build. So I don't, I don't need the money, and I don't need explicitly a happiness building. But I do, I want to get happiness buildings. I want to get rakes. Cause I want to send them to start knocking out these pesky Catholic priests. Metal roads. Metal roads is in build. Right, this is the big one. They get a naff garrison there. So if I do this, I'm fairly sure I can disembark in the port. And that army, yes, that army has full reach and can move on Amsterdam. Oh god, let's fight this. Fight this right now. <laughs> Don't get any more cavalry or anything like that. And the interesting thing is about the taking the fort is that taking the fort or defending it rather is that um, if they breach your walls you can start to have sort of an almost pitched battle inside the castle like you'll have your line infantry you'll have enough room for your line infantry set in big lines then just destroy them with superior firepower okay so let's put an artillery in the center my mortars to the side ready to just fire into the center. Um, guys to cover the breach. It's going to be this light unit plus um, some regular units of line. They're just going to sit behind, ready to rush in front if they decide to rush out. Then when it comes to capturing a set of the walls, I'm going to Grenadiers, Marines, Guard, Infantry. God, this is an elite group. Spread them out as well. Then I've got my uh, cavalry ready to go into the breach as well. And spread my general out too. Go. Walls, focus fire there, because that's where they all are. You quick climb, hit, hit them on the walls. Let's see what this does. I'm hoping it goes... Ah, they left a unit outside. Let's see what happens. That was pre pretty good. Knock them down by half. Yeah, I've got a thing. I'm not going to be super clever with this all. Because I'm probably just... Well, to be honest, I'm probably just going to run them up now. So let's put you up on that barricade around the side. Let's put you up on this section of the wall. You... This section of the wall, you, this barricade. I don't like attacking these things, it can be a bit buggy going over the bridge. You go up there. Well, I might have to actually, I might run out of room. Let's do it. Yeah, they are returning fire, but it won't be as devastating as well, that opening volley. Holy hell. 
So I mean, when the breach comes down, I'm not going to hang around either. See, so right, I'm curious. I should have keep track of this. How much faster do these? Yeah, they do have more reloading skill. They are they have more reloading skill, more accuracy, and more morale. So it looks like every tier of experience they go up, they go up two in accuracy and reloading skill and one in morale. Until now, I guess until they hit morale seven, because they're not like guard units, I suppose. watch you guys see what you can do you just ignore this whole reloading terrible job Ian, he looks unhappy I've noticed yeah this could go quite badly not quite badly like here it could go quite badly If you can get knock some of them down with quickline, that would be superb. Oh, oh, good. Oh no, I've hit my own guard with quicklime. Stop firing, quicklime. Round shot. Ah, them, I guess. Or oh, the wall. We knock the wall down. Ah. Yeah, stop firing now, I suppose. And you. Um, do I want to stop firing or do I want them to fire it? Uh, and you can target that as well. No, oh, group. Group G, that's the one I wanted. Abandoning the walls. It's rather good. It's giving my getting my letting my infantry have time to Ah this Prussian line infantryman killed a grenadier. Go on, sort him out. Oh. <laughs> Whole line unit going up one. Yeah, they're going to take a while. Again, if we make... Oh, there you go. They are climbing up via multiple routes. There's literally nothing here, I don't know why I'm being so cautious about it all. There you go. Send one unit of line in there to attack the square. Oh, I didn't turn fire. I didn't turn the fire well off, though, did I? Oh, there you go. It's already grinding to a halt. Dragoons. Get 
stuck in. Don't bother shooting at them. God, I really need to figure out what the hell to do. Oh, okay, I need to stop firing. And my cannons. God, this game. Oh, it's lagging so bad. I don't even know why. It's not even like a big battle. Climbing the walls, let them carry on. They're still climbing. They're still climbing. They're almost finished though. See, I'm I am just staggered as to why it's actually I can run them away, run them out to the flank, because right now I've the game, it's like automatically to make us like face to the head on. I'm like, no, what I want is to run them out here. Sure, I'll lose men like some of these guys as they run through. But when I then re-engage them, I'll be open hitting them on the flank. Like, if I then go... Hiya. Oh, there they're already down. Aha, nearly down. Oh hell, get into a position to fire. You didn't bother going in here. Go over here. You've got a stupid buggy. See how. Oh. Like, space. Right click and drag. There you go. I need to invest in a better PC. I wouldn't be surprised if it's this damn militia unit, because, like, they're fighting along, like, everyone on this entire bridge, and this, usually this, ugh. Oh. Yeah, that can, that, that could well be what screwed it up. Yeah, run these guys into positions to f fire. Eventually. Ugh. They're still climbing, they're still climbing. I need to invest in a go Stop firing! What the hell are you doing? It's that sort of stuff that, 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 before you know it, like kills your infantry. But yeah. Well, it seemed to help, bizarrely. How weird is that? Like, I've not got any less combat. Ah, I have got less combat. Plonk yourself on the central flag, I suppose. Garrison line aren't really firing as a coherent unit. Uh oh. That's what it is, it really doesn't like computing combats. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Don't worry, only 1 minute 43 left to put up with this nonsense. And there aren't anyone, there isn't anyone 
There isn't anyone um, stuck outside the walls, so this unit should quite comprehensively start doing fireway rank manoeuvres. Oh, I don't want to do it, but I've got to. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'll let's speed up time a bit. If it's going to be laggy as if it's going to be laggy as all hell, then may as well make time go a bit faster. See, it's hard to tell the difference. So they've got like faces. They got like white trim on the facings, they're more like strips, whereas the Americans have more buttons. Okay, what happens if I just, rather than keep fighting that point, not pointless, but rather than fighting that, I just start pulling troops away from the combat. Unsurprisingly, it does make it better. There you go, they routed, good. Oh, that's it. Well, apart from them out there. Well, well, I may even give my Dragoons a go. Horse Grenadier Guards. Oh, doesn't matter. They're gone. End battle. Whew. Bit of a slog at the end. The city. A loss of only 500 men. Okay, let's quickly, before the Prussians can stop me, destroy the school, the university, because that's going to be what they're going to really hate. Well, they're going to really hate it, but they'll like, they'll like me much more when there isn't a school. Oh yeah, that, that raid's done, that's being repaired. Workers on strike in Egypt, that's fine, because you're happy now. Be a lot less happy when I turn you Protestant, but that's what happens. Coffee house, my building, church school, good. And on to Jerusalem, on to Damascus. And my, I'm at peace with the Mamluks, I think I'll just swing this direction. I'll probably keep some forces in the Middle East because I'm America. Psych. Um, just kidding, I, it's, uh, I appreciate what you guys are doing down there. I, I, I'm not going to get involved in the whole politics of it all, but ultimately I think it's a bit of a shit show. And if we leave, then you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you leave, there'll be lots of deaths and car bombs. And why isn't America doing something about this? Like, well, we tried. You guys were just dicks about it. No, oh, anyway, yeah, that was dangerously close, right? Infrastructure, that cool. All upgraded to the hilt, right? But looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.